Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to use the time value of money to determine the outstanding balance on a loan. So Mark purchased a truck for $19,500 three years ago and he got a four year loan with an interest rate of 7.2%. He's decided that he's going to sell the car now if he can get a price that will pay off the balance of his loan. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to figure out what were the monthly payments that he was making on the loan. So it was a four year loan so that gave us 48 months. He had an interest rate of 7.2 percent. Remember that's an annual rate and because he's making monthly payments we have to divide that by 12 to come up with a monthly interest rate of 0 0.60. We're going back to the time when he bought the vehicle so at that time the present value or the amount of the loan was 19.5. We're going to solve for this payment and we know that the intent of the loan was to pay it off to zero in the future. So we're going to enter this in our time value of money keys and solve for the payment. All right, so we've got our time value money key, keys, key, keys rather cleared and we know that N was 48. It was a 48 month loan with a monthly interest rate of 0 0.60. The present value or the original amount of the loan was $19,500 and we're going to pay the loan down to zero in the future. So zero for our future value and now we're going to compute payment. So we know that his original terms of his loan was 48 monthly payments of $468.76. Now using this payment amount, we're going to figure out what the current present value or outstanding balance of that loan is. All right, so he's going to sell the car now. And what we know is he bought it three years ago with a four-year loan. So he has 12 payments left. And we knew before that we took that 7.2% interest rate, divided it by 12, to give him a monthly interest rate of 0 0.60. We also calculated that his payment, which we're going to enter as a negative, was 468.76. And he's looking to pay off the loan. That means a future value of zero. And so when we compute this present value here, that's going to be his current outstanding loan balance and how much he'll need to get for the vehicle in order to sell it. So back with my time value money keys cleared and this time I say we have 12 payments left at an interest rate of 0 0.60. His payment has been the 468.76 and remember that's an outgo we're still going to enter that as a negative for his payment. He wants to be able to pay off his loan, so the future value needs to go to zero. And now we're going to compute present value. So he has an existing outstanding loan balance of $5,411.75. And this is how much he'll need to get for his truck in order to pay off his loan and to go ahead with the sale. As always, I hope that you found this video useful. And thanks for watching.